So drop shipping. I've tried it with no money and made $23.99. And I've got a hundred of me. Let's put it to use and multiply it, shall we? So the whole process is find a product, build a Shopify store, sell the product, advertise it using TikTok ads, drive traffic to their store, and then make some cash, you know what I'm saying? But because I'm in Ghana, I encountered so many problems. So we'll be listing them and then showing you how to go about them so you don't have to sweat it. What's up guys? It's your boy White the A to the W. Let's get it. So now the goal is to 10 x the hundred dollars to a thousand so you can have a nice christmas charlie i didn't need the money that i attire so when i was doing my research on dropshipping again because like a long time i came across this free course from this guy called sebastian that basically takes you through the whole process from the mindset you should have how to find products how to create a store the sourcing advertisement how to scale TikTok, organic like everything you need to know about this but because you're in ghana you have to like do a certain twist and then figure certain things out yourself but if you're not in ghana yeah, it's like a really great cause you can follow so to find a winning product you're supposed to take a certain criteria right so the criteria are it should have a 3x markup that is you're able to like multiply the a product cost by three and still make like a reasonable for people to buy and then so that you can actually make a profit from it if it makes sense or it should have a shock factor that like people when people see they're like wow this is like this is really fun or like this is nine or this is yeah like, when i say wow fun, the challenge is okay or it's new but then nothing is really ever new in this world challenge everything has been done before so that factor challenge 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 and it should also be non-functional meaning it shouldn't be a product that needs to be like very high quality else these chinese suppliers you just order something somebody order something and then it's not like the quality they expect and then you have to refund them and stuff like that so it should be something that doesn't really need to be like high quality so that you can just have your peace of mind and keep your money again and also you can easily make videos out of it like a product that you can like have so many videos ideas so that you don't run out of them because you have to like recycling them and then reposting them out a lot of so these are the methods that he mentioned that you can use he said dropship your io it's a paid service that you can use to find like winning products and then you can go to like tiktok business ads that's where you can see ads that have been running continuously and then their products and stuff like that and then you can use like the normal basic tiktok where you search up hashtags like tiktok made me buy or um amazon finds all of those stuff and then i decided to go that free route because i feel like that's more effective so after countless hours of scrolling i came across this unsinkable book call it yeah because i don't really know the name yeah they call it unsinkable book right it's it's a toy that like you can shake and then you play around with it and it also doubles down as like a, a decor that you can use to decorate your room and your, your desk and all of that so for me it wasn't it didn't really tick most of the boxes but then it was like it was it was a wow factor it was like wow it, it's a really nice book and then yeah it solves a problem in a way i don't know why they be delu delu but then i found i found like multiple products right after that you use a website called shophunter.com to check if your competitors are actually making money from it if they're actually making money from it it means it's a good product and then you can actually sell it so when i checked the first competitor i found was still running it and then he had made about 11k in like a month right and then the second competitor i found almost made about like 100k in a month so at this point i'm pretty confident that like it's a really good product and then i was i was really about to like double down and sell right so the product goes for 3.99 on zendrop that is where you used to fulfill the orders and stuff right and then the other competitors one is selling it for 24.99 and then one is selling it for 34.99 so i was like what if like 3.99 i sell it for 19.99 like it's a really i make it like really cheap give them a fucking good order you get me i sent up for shopify right and then shopify gave me one dollar for three months or something so that was our first expense now we are left with 99 dollars yeah but then that is where the problem started no! coming bro because i set up the store and then i made a location in ghana Charlie, most apps were not compatible with the store because of the location can you believe that can you believe that the first problem i encountered was importing the product from aliexpress right so normally what you do is you import the product from zenro to your shopify store right but then the product pictures were not really nice so i had to like go on aliexpress and get like really nice product and then i imported that rather using an app called Jesus. and yeah it's very easy to so just look it up on I don't know, YouTube or something. With that being sorted, basically follow the procedure the guy used in the free course and then yeah, you'll be good. So after doing that and then building the store, the next problem I encountered was the shipping. So for some reason, the local shipping is like different. Like the local shipping is in Ghana. So you have to redo the international shipping and then reset the zones to specific locations. And then yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. Oh, that was a problem because I didn't know, but now you know. So you just basically go to your settings, go to your uh, international market and then reset select the zones 
much it's very simple and then you can choose to like remove the local one or you can just keep it in there because you'll be advertising to you the us or canada or something so you do the shipping details to that of the us and canada you just keep us and canada inside the international one and then do yes their shipping details basically you are done with that and then with that being sorted that is when i encountered my third problem so the third problem was the payment method with that used pay stuff right but for some reason pay stuff was not verifying me they were like my account is closed what 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 i sent them an email and everything and they're like i chose dropshipping and then dropshipping is like in a high risk zone all of that so yeah but after some back and forth i created a new store right and i went through the same procedure all you need is your bank statement that's not six months old your proof of identification a website and then a social media platform that's when they'll accept you with getting a website you have to buy a domain right and then with shopify shopify are selling their domains for like 15 usd for a year that is like really expensive and i'm not willing to pay 15 usd for a year so guess what i did i looked it up and then there's a website called namechi you can get a domain for like a dollar and then yeah you connect it to your shopify that's basically it. it's not really a long process you look at up to find it so now that everything is set up you're about to do the creatives to run the ads on tiktok right so basically creatives are videos that you'll be displaying during your ads that's basically it so i went on tiktok created that a little bit made my own version and then with the ai voice you use an app called 11 labs to paste the ai voice download the audio and then slap it onto the video it's clear it. that's it so these are the creatives that i made this is the best gift you can give to him or her, or they or them, or non binary We have made the first boat that is impossible to sink. No matter how hard you shake it, try freezing it and it cannot even sink. At 25% off, surprise them and watch them fall in love with you all over again. And I'm ready to run the ads. That's when I met my fourth problem. TikTok ads are not available in Ghana. And how did I fix that? DPA simple as that and then the vpa you don't need to like get a subscription or something so surfshark actually gives free trials on the phone version so what you do is you download the phone version get the free trial after you sign up for the free trial you cancel it right and then you use that account that you have set up to log in onto your pc and then you basically have a free trial run all you need the vpn to do is to set up the account after you set up the account you don't need a vpn anymore. so you choose the location the location will be like maybe new york or something united states new york. yeah and that's basically it and then when it comes to the payment if the vpn is on and you're in Ghana here, your payments won't work. I don't know, I tried it, it didn't work. It was continuing to deny it because maybe it's a, it's a fraudulent activity or something. So, how I fixed that was I was like sitting down randomly and then I turned off the VPN to see if it actually worked. And then I reloaded the site, went and then tried to do the payment and then it worked. With that being said, now let's actually create the campaigns and then the, the ads and then start running them and then see how much you make. So, the free course actually takes you through the whole process. And then when you're done with that, one thing you should do is have patience bro i was so impatient i ended up spending a lot of money on my first day bro so when he's done with everything he sets the ads for the next day at 6 to 12 right but then i was so hyped and i was so impatient that i set it up for around that time the time that i finished i finished doing the ads i finished placing the ads around like three ghana time so you have to convert that to the new york time and then you start running them so i started running the ads my budget for that day was 20 usd and then by the end of the day i had run to like 15 and i was so shocked and i turned off the ad right so the next day i did more research and i redid like the ad campaigns and everything and then i relaunched them right but then one thing you should know is but the free course i don't know he's optimizing for like 60 dollars a day you don't have 60 dollars a day like that do 20 okay do 20 60 dollars a day we'll see you you get me so do 20 be patient let's optimize and then if you start seeing the sales and you start trying to scale it if it makes sense hear my story so obviously i didn't know that and then by the time i shut off the campaign completely i had spent like 40 usd right and then now it's not like 60 usd so like now now like i'm really like panicking i have to make this work right i did a little bit of research and then for you to know that your ads are like actually working and like they're really good apart from like you getting sales is that your cpm should be below 10 usd i don't know what that means like all the terms that i'm coming to mention right now i don't know what it means but then what i found out was you see them over there your cpm should be below 10 usd your cpm PC should be either 0 0.5 cents and below and your CTR should be 1.5 and above. Those are the three main metrics to know that your ads are really doing well apart from like it's actually getting conversions right. So if those three things are there and then you are getting uh, impressions and then you are getting clicks to the website more traffic to the website then you know that like your ads are really really good right. The ad campaigns are really really good and they are being optimized properly if you get what I'm saying. So at first I didn't know that and then when I got this new information that is when I 
turned off like their first ad campaign because it was really terrible i had like ridiculous like it was way above the the average like the range so then i remade the campaigns right the same thing for some reason this time i had it way lower but then i changed the ad creatives because it wasn't really getting more impressions and i was spending more and then it started doing really well so i ended up spending around 150 dollars and i got around 31,000 impressions which led to 645 clicks to the website 16 ad to cart 32 initiated checkouts and zero sales peace <laughs>